Health tips for adults. Consuming healthy foods, beverages, and snacks, and getting regular physical activity may help you reach and maintain a healthy body weight. Making suitable lifestyle choices may also help men and women prevent some health problems. Here's a quick overview of some ways to eat better and be more active. Choose whole grains more often. Try whole wheat breads and pastas, oatmeal, or brown rice. Select a mix of colorful vegetables. The vegetables of different colors provide a variety of nutrients. Try carrots, kale, spinach, squash, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. At restaurants, eat only half of your meal and take the rest home. Walk in parks, around a track, or in your neighborhood with your family or friends. Make getting physical activity a priority. Try to do at least 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity aerobic activity, like biking or brisk walking. If your time is limited, work in small amounts of activity throughout your day. Learn more ways to move more and eat better, for yourself and your family. Healthy weight. If it is tough to manage your weight, you are certainly not alone in today's world. In fact, more than 39% of American adults have obesity. Excess weight may lead to heart disease, type 2 diabetes, kidney disease, and other chronic health problems. Setting goals to improve your health may help you lower the chances of developing weight-related health problems. Heart disease. Many different types of heart disease exist. The most common cause of heart disease is narrowing or blockage of the blood vessels that supply blood to the heart. This is called coronary artery disease and happens slowly over time. It's the major reason people have heart attacks. Other kinds of heart problems may happen to the valves in the heart, or the heart may not pump well and cause heart failure. Type 2 Diabetes the most common type of diabetes, is a disease that occurs when your blood glucose, also called blood sugar, is too high. Blood glucose is your main source of energy and comes mainly from the food you eat. Insulin, a hormone made by the pancreas, helps glucose get into your cells to be used for energy. In type 2 diabetes, your body doesn't make enough insulin or doesn't use insulin well. Too much glucose then stays in your blood, and not enough reaches your cells. Chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, means your kidneys are damaged and can't filter blood the way they should. The main risk factors for developing kidney disease are diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and a family history of kidney failure. Diabetes and high blood pressure are the most common causes of kidney disease. Your healthcare provider may do tests to find out why you have kidney disease. The cause of your kidney disease may affect the type of treatment you receive. How can you tell if you are at a healthy weight? Your body mass index BMI, can help you determine if you are at a healthy weight, overweight, or have obesity. BMI is a measure based on your weight in relation to your height. You can use an online tool to calculate your BMI. A BMI of 18.5 to 24.9 is in the healthy range. A person with a BMI of 25 to 29.9 is considered overweight. Someone with a BMI of 30 or greater is considered to have obesity. Another important measure is your waist size. Women with a waist size of more than 35 inches, and men with a waist size of more than 40 inches, may be more likely to develop health problems. Men are more likely than women to carry extra weight around their abdomen or belly. Abdomen is the area between your chest and hips. Extra fat, especially in the abdomen, may put people at risk for certain health problems, even if they have a normal weight. What are some health risks of being overweight or having obesity? Extra weight may increase your risk for Type 2 diabetes Heart disease and stroke High blood cholesterol high blood pressure, kidney disease, fatty liver disease, problems with pregnancy, certain types of cats. Why do some people become overweight? Many factors, 
including consuming more calories than you need from food and beverages, lack of sleep, and low levels of physical activity, may play a part in gaining excess weight. Here are some factors that may influence weight and overall health. The world around you, your home, community, and workplace all may affect how you make daily lifestyle choices. Food and beverages high in fat, added sugar, and calories are easy to find and sometimes hard to avoid. And they often cost less than healthier choices like fruits and vegetables. On top of that, smartphones and other devices may make it easy for you to be less active in your daily routine. Families. Overweight and obesity tend to run in families, suggesting that genes may play a role in weight gain. Families also share food preferences and habits that may affect how much, when, and what we eat and drink. Medicines. Some medicines, such as steroids, and some drugs for depression and other chronic health problems, may lead to weight gain. Ask your healthcare professional or pharmacist about whether weight gain is a possible side effect of medicines you are taking and if there are other medicines that can help your health without gaining weight. Emotions. Sometimes people snack, eat, or drink more when they feel bored, sad, angry, happy, or stressed, even when they are not hungry. Consider whether it might be your emotions making you want to eat, and try doing something else to help you cope with negative feelings or celebrate your good mood. That can help you feel better and avoid weight gain. Lack of sleep. In general, people who get too little sleep tend to weigh more than those who get enough sleep. There are several possible explanations. Sleep-deprived people may be too tired to exercise. They may take in more calories simply because they are awake longer and have more opportunities to eat. Lack of sleep may also disrupt the balance of hormones that control appetite. Researchers have noticed changes in the brains of people who are sleep-deprived. These changes may spark a desire for tasty foods. Consuming healthy food and beverages. Being aware of food portion size, the kinds of foods and beverages you consume, and how often you have them may be a step to help you make healthier food choices. What kinds of foods and drinks should I consume? Consume more nutrient-rich foods. Nutrients, like vitamins, minerals, and dietary fiber, nourish our bodies by giving them what they need to be healthy. Adults are encouraged to consume some of the following foods and beverages that are rich in nutrients. Fruits and vegetables. Whole grains, like oatmeal, whole grain bread, and brown rice. Seafood, lean meats, poultry, and eggs. Beans, peas, unsalted nuts, and seeds. Sliced vegetables or baby carrots with hummus. Fat-free or low-fat milk and milk products. If you're sensitive to milk and milk products, try substituting non-dairy soy, almond, rice, or other drinks with added vitamin D and calcium. Lactose reduced fat free or low fat milk. Dark leafy vegetables like collard greens or kale. Consume less of these foods and beverages. Some foods and beverages have many calories but few of the essential nutrients your body needs. Added sugars and solid fats pack a lot of calories into food and beverages but provide a limited amount of healthy nutrients. Salt does not contain calories, but it tends to be in high-calorie foods. Adults should aim to limit foods and drinks such as sugar-sweetened drinks and foods. Foods with solid fats like butter, margarine, lard, and shortening. White bread, rice, and pasta that are made from refined grains. Foods with added salt, sodium, whole milk, easy snack ideas, instead of sugary, fatty snacks, dry, fat-free or low-fat milk or yogurt, fresh or canned fruit, without added sugars. How can I follow a healthy eating plan? These tips may help you stay on track with your plan to eat healthier. Reduce the overall calories you consume. If you consume more calories than you use through daily living, exercise, and other activities, it may lead to weight gain. If you consume fewer calories than you use through physical activity, it may lead to weight loss. Have healthy snacks on hand. 
Whether you are at home, at work, or on the go, healthy snacks may help combat hunger and prevent overeating. Look for snacks that are low in added sugar and salt. Your best bets are whole foods, like baby carrots, fresh fruit, or low-fat or fat-free yogurt instead of chips, cakes, or cookies, rather than packaged or processed foods. Select a mix of colorful vegetables each day. Choose dark, leafy greens, such as spinach, kale, collards, and mustard greens, and red and orange vegetables such as carrots, sweet potatoes, red peppers, and tomatoes. If you have it kidney stones, be aware that some vegetables, like spinach and sweet potatoes, are high in oxalate, a chemical that combines with calcium in urine to form a common type of kidney stone. So, if you have kidney stones, you may need to watch how much of this you eat. But for others, these are great choices. Eat a rainbow of food colors. Choose whole grains more often. Try whole grain breads and pastas, oatmeal, or brown rice. Shift from solid fats to oils. Try cooking with vegetable, olive, canola, or peanut oil instead of solid fats such as butter, stick margarine, shortening, lard, or coconut oil. Choose foods that naturally contain oils, such as seafood and nuts, instead of some meat and poultry and use salad dressings and spreads that are made with oils rather than solid fats. Switch from frying to baking or grilling. Instead of fried chicken, try a salad topped with grilled chicken. Instead of ordering fries when eating out, ask for a side of steamed veggies. Limit foods and beverages that are high in sugar and salt. Avoid snack foods high in salt and added sugars, and keep away from sugary soft drinks. Read the Nutrition Facts label on packaged foods. The Nutrition Facts label tells you how many calories and servings are in a box, package, or can. The label also shows how many ingredients, such as fat, fiber, sodium, and sugar, including added sugars, were in one serving of food. You can use these facts to make healthy food choices. How much should I consume? How much you should consume each day depends on your weight, sex, age, metabolism, and how active you are. In general, men need more calories than women. Younger adults need more calories than adults in midlife and older. At all ages, adults who get more physical activity need more calories than those who are less active. Keeping your food and beverage portions in check may help you reach or stay at a healthy weight. To learn more about a healthy eating plan and the amounts of food and beverages that are right for you, visit the link in the description to have your own plan to lose weight in 7 days trial. What if I need to lose weight? Talk with your healthcare provider about what a healthy weight is for you. If you are overweight or have obesity, your healthcare professional may recommend weight loss. Consider getting help through a structured weight loss program. Experts recommend beginning with a weight loss of 5 to 10% of your starting weight over a period of 6 months. For so if you weigh 200 pounds, that would mean losing 10 to 20 pounds. Modest weight loss has been shown to improve health, and it may bring you other benefits such as better mood and more energy. Use a diary to track the foods and beverages you consume. Keep a food and beverage diary that lists everything you consume in a day. The diary helps you see when you are eating a healthy diet and when you might be slipping into less healthy eating and drinking patterns. Find out when your eating pattern is most healthy so you can try to do that more often. Discover when and how your diet could use some changes to help you lose weight and improve your health. More adults are using different ways to track health habits, including what and how much they eat and drink, sleep, and weigh. Using apps on mobile phones, tablets, and other devices has become a popular way to track and improve health. These apps have many features. If you are interested, look for apps that best fit your health goals and lifestyle habits. If you prefer keeping a written diary, check out the sample food and beverage diary below. It includes a section for writing down what the time was and what your feelings were when you consumed the food or beverage. Writing down your feelings may help you identify your eating triggers. 
For example, you may notice that you sometimes overeat when you are with a big group, simply because everyone around you is consuming large amounts of food and beverages. The next time you share a meal with a group, think about your triggers and try to limit how much you consume by eating more slowly. Ideas to support your weight loss efforts In addition to keeping a diary, focusing on behaviors related to your eating and physical activity level can help jumpstart your weight loss efforts. It can also help you maintain weight loss for the long term. These ideas may help you lose weight. Consuming food and beverages Make a shopping list and stick to it. Don't shop when you are hungry. Don't keep foods high in fat, added sugar, or salt in your home, workplace, or car. You can't consume what's not there. Keep healthier snacks ready so that you make the healthy choice the easy choice. Ask for smaller servings. At a restaurant, consume only half your meal and take the rest home. Eat your meals at a table. Turn off the TV and all other devices so you don't mindlessly eat or drink too much. Enjoy your food without distraction. Behavior Be realistic about weight loss goals. Aim for a slow, modest weight loss. Seek support. Include your family and friends. Expect setbacks. Forgive yourself if you regain a few pounds. Adjust your plan to help you get back on track. Add moderate or vigorous intensity physical activity to your weight loss plan. This kind of activity increases your heart rate and makes you break a sweat. Examples are brisk walking, swimming, and dancing. Ask for help from the nutrition experts. Would you like to know exactly what to eat to lose fat and get healthy without giving up your favorite foods or starving yourself? Do you want to receive the advice from the nutrition expert to lose weight fast? If you're serious about achieving permanent fat loss and a complete health transformation while eating your favorite foods every meal, I invite you to read the page in the description and get your own Kato diet plan in 7 days trial. for your watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have more power to publish the next videos if you subscribe this channel and enable all notifications to make sure you never miss any videos in the future. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next videos.